Joining us now is David Palmer, Evercore ISI Senior Managing Director, Restaurant and Packaged Foods Analyst. David has a buy rating and $300 price target on McDonald's. Uh, David, thanks for being here. So obviously the stock reacting positively. Is it this idea that the, the $5 value meals, those were kind of introduced at the end of the quarter? So perhaps the outlook and McDonald's ability to capitalize on this change in consumer spending and consumer behavior uh, will really show through at the end of the year. It's really not clear why the stock's up today. Clearly, investors were set up to the negative. The U.S. comp was slightly better than expected, but the multi-year trend for that was deteriorating, mid-single-digit type slowdown on a multi-year basis. So it was not an impressive quarter in the U.S. International, they were clear on the call that things got weaker towards the end of the quarter, and that continues here into July. So it was a really downbeat uh, quarter and earnings call. The thing that uh, people may be seeing, in addition to being generally underweight going into this and therefore positioning, helping the, the stock, is the fact that the company's scrambling to get value messages around the world to get comps going. And this is ahead of some premium innovation that's going to be really heating up into the first half of 25. So that plus valuation, we're at two standard deviation lows on valuation here. So there's a lot of people looking at McDonald's. And if you can wait a year, you could piece together a bull case. But this was certainly a sobering quarter. Uh, and in terms of the international markets, those were showing declines. They had boycotts in the Middle East. There were declines uh, also in China and Japan as well. How concerning do you think that is as they kind of get things back up for that 2025 bull case? Yeah, they were downbeat about certainly China, France, two big markets for them. They were particularly negative about those. There are some value messages that have been rolled out in places like Canada, dollar coffee there. They seem to be relatively upbeat about that. Uh, but for the most part, it's similar to the U.S. Either they have a value message like the McSmart menu in France and Germany that's in place, but they need to augment that with certain items on that menu. Or in the U.S., they are still in search of a value message that could be a uh, buy one, get one for a dollar, for example, but they need to do something to create more of a hero value item on that. So $1.29 or $1.49, any size soft drink in the U.S., something they've done in the past that could work. They need to find that, but they're still not there yet with the franchisees and the negotiations for that are ongo ongoing. Uh, David, few people know the sector and the company as well as you do, so I think it's interesting when you sort of express surprise at the move in the stock. You came up with a reason. I mean, is it one that you think is sustainable, sort of the idea that investors are looking longer term here and or as well that the stock is cheap, or is this thing going to come right back, given those numbers? It, it, it is a weird move. Uh, there, We know a lot of um, big long onlys that are looking at this name, and they see the value, and those are the types of investors that, this, that have not been involved in McDonald's for a while. It's a 30 or 40 percent weighting. Uh, by the top 25 mutual funds, according to the data that we see versus the S&P weighting. So they're not there. They're maybe looking at this. Uh, hedge funds are generally short the name because these trends have been pretty lousy. In the U.S., they did do a little bit better than we had thought. The 0.7 down was better than the ones that most people would have thought. But this was, this is, it's early. You know, this, this is going to take a few quarters to get going. So perhaps a little bit of covering, too, contributing to today's gains. Uh, David, thank you.